So I'm uh, having some issues with the bike. I will show you right now what's, what's the problem. As you could see, the check engine light is on, so we will try to investigate this and see why is that. We will use an OBD dongle connected to this wire. This right here is the OBD connector on the bike and I'm using a cable splitter so that I can have my ABS dongle plugged in as well. So, let's connect the OBD dongle. We will need an Android phone to install this app. Now, we will need to turn the ignition on, but don't start the bike yet. We will wait for the adapter to connect. Connected to OBD. So I'm having this code right here. And the reason for this, I think it's this right here so a few days ago i installed this and i had to remove the handlebar and switch it around but i didn't disconnect this cable so maybe there is a short circuit in here or something so i will disconnect this and do some measurements for this I'm trying to graph some values and see what exactly is the problem. So I, I've added some parameters to be graphed. Now I will start the bike and start graphing. So I'm pressing here. it seems that the throttle response is okay let's try something else so let's just clear the error connected to a bd Seems that the error appeared back instantly, so that's not working. Let's just disconnect this and see. noticed that the cables in here are rubbing the frame and maybe in here I have some problems so I want to take this all out and check the cables okay so here here is the problem So, as 
if you can see. When this cable rubbed against the frame, it just snapped this wire and this is triggering the ECU error. Now, let's move on. So, we are now away from the bike and I want to fix this issue. So, as we've seen on the bike, the problem is right here. As you can see, the cable snapped. This cable was rubbing against the bike frame and because of this this cable snapped and triggered the ECU uh, error. Now the way the ride by wire throttle works is a bit different than the traditional cable throttle. Uh, on the older cable throttle bikes, basically, you would have a throttle position sensor, TPS, which will uh, communicate to the ECU the angle of the blade and the ECU will know how to uh, deliver fuel and different aspects. With ride-by-wire, things are a bit different. You don't have a TPS per se, so basically when you twist the throttle, there is a potentiometer, which is this one. So basically when you twist this, like this, this potentiometer sends a value through this cables to the ECU and the ECU will know exactly what to do and it will transmit the values to another sensor which is on the throttle body. Well, I don't know if it's a sensor. Um, basically, it's a um, small motor which will open the throttle the, um, gate. Now, this ride-by-wire is working like um, the traditional cable system, so meaning that the traditional cable system has a idle cable and a throttle cable. So basically, when you twist the throttle, the idle cable becomes shorter, and um, it's the same way with this, only that it's with voltage. So basically, five volts will travel through this circuit. And you have two lines, an idle line and a throttle line. And the sums of those two circuits, the, the voltage from those two basically should be 5 volts. So when you open the throttle, the voltage will increase uh, on the throttle line and it will decrease on the idle line. So for example, let's say you have um, 5 volts on the idle line and 0 volts on the throttle line, which means that you are not touching the throttle. Once you increase the throttle, you will reach, let's say, 1 volt in the throttle and in the idle line you will only have 4 volts left. So the sum of these two lines need to be 5 volts all the time. If this doesn't happen, the ECU will go into link mode in order to not have any problems, like for example, let's say that a short circuit is happening on the throttle line and the um, throttle line will tell the ECU to uh, put the throttle to the max. The ECU will know that the voltages between these two 
doesn't match and it will go into limp mode preventing you from um, your bike going at full speed now because we have 5 volts in <coughs> this uh, whole circuit um, I've read that there are some problems if you modify this cable's length now I'm not sure if this is the case so meaning that if you change the length of this cable you may modify the resistance of the circuit and uh, this can generate problems so I will try to um, solder this wire but solder it to keep the exact weight so I will not overlap them I will try to solder them like this with a different cable um, that will make connections between these two so that I will keep the same length. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the case, uh, but I will try to do it like this. So let's just um, make some room in here so we can work better. Ideally, I would remove this entire rubber coating so in order to inspect each cable and see if, if it's not split in some other parts but since this was rubbing on the frame of the bike I'm pretty sure that the, the problem is just in here so I will just split this in half Everything is done. Now what we need to do is go back to the bike and uh, test it and see if it works or not. Connect it to this. So with this connected let's um, see if anything changed connected to OBD Let's clear the air.
so it seems that this fixed the issue. Now what I will need to do is assemble all of this, route it properly, and also fix this as well, add some tape, and I think I will need to modify this a bit to add a more, more grooves or something as I have too many cables going through here and this is why this is happening so you can see this as well yeah so I will have to sort this out as well put everything back together and the bike is okay <laughs>